you must be hungry. <laughs> yeah. Did you know it takes ten days for civilization to collapse? Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just ten days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne, all Americans. Hoorah! <laughs> One night there was a, an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food. No radio. Nearest base. 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day, I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance, came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. It wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was... It was my test. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough. Watch your time. Know your purpose! Time ticking. Tick tock. your time.
gonna get out of here, okay? Only you. Only you. Hey, what about me? What about me? You aren't strong enough. You have to get out of here before it starts again. Follow me. Study the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. react well to surprises. They started me. Change of position. Nobody knows. 
knows Montana like me. Well, looky here. It's my new campaign manager. Yes, sir. I'm gonna make Montana great again. If it's the last thing I do. I found our little friend! Right over there! Psst, Herc's on the move. Goddamn election's gonna be the death of me. Well, looky here. It's my new campaign manager. I just need to stop all these whack jobs. Well, looky here. It's my new campaign manager. Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involving redrawn voting districts, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is they vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but... A permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best, if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone, because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around, because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what you waiting for? Get moving. All right, I'm home. Damn, Jess, you're looking good. At least it ain't drugs. I can't stay put here, amigo. Target visual. I'm skedaddling, man. Go! Air support is coming in. Drunk elephant, man, come on! I see one! They keep trying. I keep shooting them. Right there, Jess.
in here. I'll kick the shit out of you. Oh, crap. Get I think I need some help. I'm moving. Quick it ain't, dude. Can't let this stuff go to waste. They're not letting anyone go. I'm gonna move from point B to point A, but probably not in that order. Thank God, you're just in time. Thank you so much. Bumpy roads do tend to make me gassy, so crack a window. Gun it. Tell you what, how about you 
take old Nancy. You go around cleaning up this county in that truck, and all them prospective voters will know who's got their backs. Oh, and please don't bring her junior back. Ever. Hey, look, it's bad guy. I mean, shit. Hey, look, it's bad guy. 